Hello there. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is written and directed by Quentin Tarantino and his first film not associated with Harvey Weinstein. You know, the terrible monster. And stars Leonardo DiCaprio, Brad Pitt and Margot Robbie and is set in 1969 during the twilight of the Hollywood Golden Age with Margot Robbie portraying Sharon Tate who was tragically murdered by the Manson family. Our story has Leonardo DiCaprio portraying an, a TV cowboy actor who worries for his career after the show is finished. Brad Pitt portrays his stunt double and best friend and the deadliest son of a bitch alive in the movie's coolest scene. And we have Margot Robbie who portrays the late Joan Tate. We basically just follow her around. Quentin Tarantino is one of the best filmmakers working today and of pretty much all time. I mean, you know it. I know it. He has Pulp Fiction, Kill Bill, and Glorious Bastards, and Django Unchained under his belt. Everyone knows he's good. He's going to be a father. Tarantino is only going to direct one or two more movies before he calls it a career. Kill Bill was released as two movies, but Tarantino says that he sees it as one movie. You think he'll make that Star Trek movie? On the Tarantino scale, I'd say that Once Upon a Time in Hollywood sits at the lower end of that scale, so still great. I'd rather take the worst of Quentin Tarantino than the best of Michael Bay or Brett Ratner, who has also been me too. Fuck that guy. Tarantino's direction of the film story is not that great. It's still good, but DiCaprio and Pitt basically get to their own storylines and Margot Robbie's has little to do with theirs and the storylines don't quite come together in a meaningful way. And the film's length is perhaps a bit excessive. 161 minutes, I think you could have cut it down by 10 perhaps. But I think that Tarantino's basically earned the right to make whatever movie he wants, however he wants to make it. I mean, I think few people might have raised their eyebrows as soon as Tarantino said Sharon Tate and Charles Manchin when he was pitching this. This is a period film, so figures from Hollywood's golden age are portrayed here. I already mentioned Sharon Tate and Charles Manson, but you also get Bruce Lee, James Stacy, Wayne Monda, Steve McQueen, and Roman Polanski, just to name a few. And I'm sorry that you went through the Holocaust, but still fuck you, Polanski. The dialogue is fun and engaging, and the acting is good across the board. Leonardo DiCaprio gives an Oscar-worthy performance. Seriously, he might get a nomination. Providing multiple performances in this movie, really, and Brad Pitt gives off an air of coolness that works perfectly for his character, and Robbie portrays Tate as sweet, innocent, and fun-loving. It's quite easy to fall in love with her in this role. I should watch a few Sean Tate movies. The cinematography is great, though after it's pointed out to you, you're not not noticing Tarantino's foot fetish. We get it, Quentin, you're like feet! Must you keep shoving it in the audience's face? Quentin Tarantino said, I didn't go to film school. I went to films. Tarantino makes movies out of what he likes. Pulp Fiction was made out of his love of film noir. Kill Bill is very reminiscent of Eastern cinema, released around the same time that Tarantino brought Zhang Yimou's hero to America. And Tarantino has said that Steven Spielberg saving Private Ryan was the inspiration for his own Inglorious Bastards. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is essentially his love letter to the 60s featuring filmmakers from that era, a soundtrack composed of songs released during the 60s, I assume not every song has its own Wikipedia page, and as well as Leonardo DiCaprio's character becoming a spaghetti western star. Quentin Tarantino has done it again, a movie that's brutal and hilarious.